Hi folks, this is all the fruit and have you ever thought what a cactus looked like before it became a cactus? I mean cacti are so different from other plants. They basically have almost no leaves. Everything is one thick stem or a cluster of branching stems. They look like they are related to nothing else. But look at this plant here, at this strange little shrub, which can actually also be, it can also grow into a, a tree. Well, doesn't look so much like a cactus, right? Until you look at it more closely, especially at the fruit. What do you notice about the fruit? There are leaves on the fruit. And those are not just sepals and petals. Those look like normal leaves, actually. In this one specimen, quite a lot of the photosynthesis is being done with those little leaves on the fruit. And a lot of those fruit, they don't seem to be even pollinated, but they are not being shed because, well, they have leaves. This is Pereschia, most probably Pereschia coleata. What is Pereschia? Well, Pereschia is a group of very primitive cacti, which don't look very cactus-like yet. However, they have the most important feature of a cactus. Those are the areoles. Those little buds here, those little space, uh, those little dots from which all the leaves and thorns and spines and flowers and fruit and side branches and basically everything in the cactus appears. And since Pereschia and the whole subfamily Perischioidae have those areoles, they are not con just considered the ancestor of all cacti, they are also considered a true cactus. A true cactus with edible fruit. This one here, well, in the south of Portugal, we've had a lot of drought in the last four years, and I doubt that the cactus is specifically being watered. So maybe it's a little bit stressed by the drought, but the fruit should still be perfectly edible. So I'm picking one of those fruit. Here you can see those areoles. Each one seems to have one leaf and one spine. Uh, now I have to remove those. Ow, 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 with one hand. Already got stung multiple times. Fortunately, they don't have huge clusters of spines in each area. Okay. Now I managed to remove most of the spines from my hand. A small cactus fruit. I've seen much bigger Pereschia fruit, but I'm... I kind of have the suspicious that a lot of different Pereschia species are being lumped into Pereschia coleata, so this might be either a smaller fruited species or subspecies, or simply one which has to fight drought. That's what they look on the inside. And that's what do they taste like sour and a bit slimy not at all like a prickly pear or like a dragon fruit which are most probably the, the most well-known cactus fruit nowadays yeah, sour not even very slimy sour I might also feel a little bit of oxalate basically sour not too bad the leaves which are supposed to have a lot of oxalate, are also supposed to have a lot of protein. So you can basically boil them and make them into stir fries. They seem to be tasty enough and also very high in protein content. Very interesting little uncactus like cactus shrub, this Pereschia. So folks, this was Pereschia Aquileata AGG, let's say. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful and immense fruit collection on the Portuguese Algarve. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.